and this has torn me up. And I want justice for my son. That was Christopher Olivares' mother nine months ago after her son was killed at his own home. Tonight, the man accused of stabbing him is in custody. Mary Coronado sat down with the night team's John Paul Barajas to speak about the closure she desperately needed. I had these shields in my body that ran down and I, I started crying and it was just like a miracle that a piece that they caught this person and I cried. It was a moment Christopher Olivares' mother says she waited for desperately. Mary Coronado took us through the moment she learned police made an arrest in her son's murder as well as what the last nine months have been like. Crying every day in, in the shower, trying to make myself strong, was suffering in me. Coronado says she watched live as 20-year-old Sebastian Hernandez was cuffed and put into the back of a police unit. Did you do this? That night. I never met for anything that Did you kill Christopher? It just made me wonder you know to that? say, would give you the right to take some, my son's life away. According to police, Hernandez stabbed Olivares, stole his car, and set it on fire out in Guadalupe County. He was also seen on Olivares' doorbell camera before and again on the night of the murder. Hernandez's murder charge carries the possibility of a life sentence. The grieving mother explains having him behind bars brings her a little bit of peace, but it won't bring back what was taken from her. I'm glad he's caught. But why would you do that? That's why I know. Why did you brutally murder my son like that? Well, Ivarez's mother says she would like to see the suspect get the maximum sentence. And because he is in custody now, she hopes to fulfill her son's dreams of traveling. That means taking road trips and catching flights to places like Hawaii and Italy. At the Bear County Jail, John Paul Barajas, KSAT 12 News.